hello friends and welcome to one new video of java desi where we will learn how to create a new project workspace go to the file and in the file you go to the switch workspace and you can see here these all are the workspaces that are created okay now if you want to create a new workspace you can go to other but before going to this other or switching to a new workspace better you create a folder in one of the drives so what i will do here in my local disk h folder right uh, what i will do i will create a new folder with name say youtube youtube workspace youtube workspace okay so now once you have created this folder youtube workspace in your edge we go back to the eclipse and now go to the file go to switch workspace and go to the other now once you go to other here you can go for browsing option now in your edge you go and check you will find that here the workspace folder is showing just click on it select this folder and this workspace in the edge folder you have youtube workspace built up and just go for launch yeah and this will be a new pop-up that will open and here you can see the youtube workspace is showing and you can just close this welcome okay and the moment you close it you will find that the new workspace comes to you okay now if you want to create something you can go here you can go with file and i will create a simple java project first just for example so i will i will click on project and here i will click on java project and i will do next here you can give your project name so i am giving here my project all right and just go for go for next and then you can then you can finish it here uh, here you can go for don't create just for module information it is asking and it is asking you whether you want to open it in perspective so it's all your choice if i click here no so this is my project which is in the project explorer now i'll do a right click go to new and make a class inside it so this will ask me like what will be the uh, package and what will be the class so i will i will mention here the name of my package as a and the name of my class as say my class and then it is saying that the package name is discouraged and it should usually start with a lower case so no issue i will i will my pack okay and and i will include the main method and then i will make it finish okay so yeah a new class will be generated now yep so here is the new class and i can i can print here my simple program whatever i want so let's try this okay and i'll print here hi so my new workspace is getting generated like this i will try to run it and i will run it as a java application okay and now you can see on the console this output is getting printed so now uh, let's go to the folder again and here is my youtube workspace and here you can see my project is getting created this is the folder which is now my workspace and in this we have been and all this src folder and that my pack and this is my java class and if if you want to open it with the whole of notepad plus oh most probably you will find you'll find whatever program you have written here so this is how you create a new workspace in eclipse and 
meanwhile i will also show you how to switch your workspace i will i, I will go here again switch workspace now it is showing me like okay okay it is showing me all this all this workspaces that that we have okay so uh, it's not showing the one which is in current like the youtube workspace will not be shown here so i'm trying to switch the workspace and i want to go to say new come and learn java if i go to that workspace again here here's a switch that i can do and let's see again the eclipse will open it is taking a bit of time all right so see this is the new workspace where i have some of my projects that that with that we will save it time so this is how you switch the workspace and now you can see you can go back to your youtube workspace this switching of workspace becomes important if you want to uh, like uh, learn on different technologies so differently you can make different folders and subfolders and you can you can go for a switch so here you go we are back to our youtube workspace so this is how you switch the workspaces and you generate the new workspaces that's all in this video we'll see you soon thank you so much